think people sometimes misunderstand what it is to be a, a realtor. Um, so I think the perception is that we hang out at coffee shops and go golfing all the time and on vacation. I guess maybe there are some who can get away with that, but there are other times where you have your properties and they're getting broken into and you gotta go call the cops to have them remove squatters or sometimes they're flooded. Other times they're under massive construction and, and as a realtor, you gotta deal with all that stuff. Um, and it can be pretty inconvenient. Sometimes it's dangerous. Uh, the property I've got behind me, I actually had to remove people before on my own. I was like, this is gonna end up being bad for me or somebody else at some point in time. So I ended up calling the police to have them bring out their canine unit. And it's like, uh, just get rid of these folks. Uh, it's just causing me problems. So anyway, welcome to the glamorous life of a realtor. Uh, you gotta be prepared for stuff like this. Uh, anyway. Daniel with Keller Williams Realty. Uh, living the dream. Bye. So I got a listing and you're seeing this video after it's closed because I don't want anything to deal with my uh, with my closing, but I'm gonna share with you some of the stuff we, we, we have to handle. Uh, so I've got a house that we did uh, an inspection on the sewer line and it showed up that there were roots in the, the line. Well, it's one thing it was from the street to the house, but then it's another thing when it's under the house. So this, my client is out of town, so having to handle all of this for the seller for him. So uh, what happened is you had roots in the line underneath the house, so we're managing this project for them. Uh, so we're gonna share it with you. You can get to see the glamorous life of a realtor. So here's, here's what we're looking at right now. Uh, you kind of come in, it's got beautiful wood flooring. <laughs> and so they had to take up the concrete, uh, trench out, figure out where the septic lines were. I'll be honest with you, when we saw this, we were like, oh my goodness. Um, so this is the master bedroom. Um, I'll try not to fall in this trench. Um, and so bringing in new lines, going into the bathroom. Um, so this is, uh, this is the glamorous life here. I almost forgot. Uh, this is my wife. She's my listing coordinator. She's also my stager. And no, they didn't call before the demo with all of her staging in here. So yes, all of her staging is absolutely covered in dirt. Uh, there's a lot of stuff like this that your realtor probably deals with. And uh, you may not actually see a lot of this. Uh, most of the time we shelter our clients from this because it's just emotionally, it's a big emotional thing to buy and sell real estate. And then uh, your, your realtor probably protects you from a lot of things that are occurring on the back end, title issues, lending issues, um, a lot of high emotions that are running that your realtor really is shielding you from and, and, and making sure that everything goes through. And it's not that we're trying to hide things from you. It's just that we know sometimes since there's so much stresses during a transaction, we want to make sure that you just get to the finish line. Um, and so that's our goal. And so, uh, as a realtor, we manage a lot of things. Uh, because we want to see you succeed. And, uh, um, and so it's not always glamorous, but everything we do really, this is just a, a service oriented industry. Whenever somebody is buying or selling real estate, something big in life has happened. They've been moved, they've been taking another job, they lost their job. And so uh, as a realtor, that's what we work with. We try and help you succeed through all of life's biggest changes. So. Anyway, we're here to serve you, um, but I thought I'd kind of show you the back end of kind of what we do uh, and uh, share some of those things that we don't normally share. Anyway, Daniel with Keller Williams Realty. I hope you're doing good and uh, give your realtor a hug. They probably need it. Talk to you later.